So let me try and charge this. Um, I got an iPad and two laptops. I'm gonna charge with my rower generator. Um, so let's give it a go. All right, let's take a look at what's inside the box. Uh, so uh, we've got the uh, e-bike motor, which has AC current. So this guy up here uh, comes out with uh, three phases of AC current. Uh, so there's three wires that come out of there, three main wires. There's, a, there's these other um, wires that are used for a Hall effect sensor to do speed and things like that. But basically these three bigger wires um, are what comes out of the motor that are uh, three phases of AC. Uh, and then I go to this um, Schottsky diode uh, bridge rectifier. So that's this circuit right here. Um, so what that does is changes the uh, alternating current into direct current. So then we've got uh, plus or minus uh, direct current. Um, then I tie into these three um, ultra capacitors. They're, they're small ultra capacitors, these little guys here. Um, they don't hold a lot of uh, capacity, but enough to basically hold the cycle when, I, um, when I'm rowing to, uh, when on the return stroke, there's enough uh, power to um, keep the, uh, the uh, voltage high enough that I can uh, charge things and run things with the, the rower. Um, these are a little uh, limited at, uh, say I get over about 140 watts or so, it feels like uh, uh, there's not enough capacity to, to for me to go higher than that. So um, if I wanted to step it up to uh, some bigger ones, then I could probably get some higher wattage out of this system. Anyway, so next we go to these uh, two banana connectors, which are um, just these, these guys here. Uh, I actually use uh, this other charge controller um, uh, plug into that, because this will take uh, that, and then I can charge, charge uh, my portable battery pack or other things um, with that. Uh, that's up but anyway um, so those are unregulated um, 18 to 35 or more uh, volts come out of that based on how, how hard I'm pulling on the rower uh, then we go over into the meter uh, which is that uh, black meter down there this guy 
uh, the draft meter. Uh, it gives me the, how many watts and volts and so on that uh, I generate. And then uh, we go into this uh, 12 uh, volt uh, charge controller. So that's a, uh, actually a 24 volt target, um, which gives me a range of 18 to 35 volts. Uh, turns it into a 12 volt. So that's this guy right here. Um, and then uh, out of that, we just have a couple of sockets, um, automotive sockets that we can plug uh, phone chargers, laptop chargers, uh, inverter, uh, whatever into those uh, outlets. And then uh, we, can, we can charge those things with uh, the Roar generator. All right, now for the ultimate test. <laughs> can we power a TV? So I just got a, a TV antenna here, just a wire to give me an over the air signal. And I got it plugged into the uh, back of the TV with a power inverter here. And then we're just coming up into the um, rower generator here. And we'll see if I can watch some TV that I power myself. It appears I can. That was actually pretty easy. All right, let's do a quick walkthrough of the rower that I built. So this is based on Jim Flood's plans. Uh, I've got a link to his website um, uh, down below, so you check that out. Uh, but uh, basically, I followed his plans just about exactly. Um, one thing I did different is I uh, put a couple grooves in these two uh, uh, main beams that are used by the by the rower. And then I just um, mounted these wheels in, in those grooves. Um, so uh, that's really one of the things I did different. Um, I did do this two by six here. Um, if I did it again, I probably wouldn't bother. I'd probably just stick with a two by four. Um, this ended up being more of a challenge uh, because these um, uh, sides of the wheels, these um, casters, kind of rubbed against the, the two by six so I ended up having to shim some some wood off of there that was kind of a uh, ended up not being as as ideal as I thought it would be um, but uh, in any case uh, so that was one change I did then I did these um, pedals uh, that move versus the fixed ones that Jim did uh, so on both sides here I just uh, just took a dowel, uh, actually, um, the uh, one and a quarter inch handle that I used came in 36 inch length. So I actually just used what was left of that, or part of what was left of that, to use as this um, pivot for the for the pedals. Um, so I just drilled a, a hole through the uh, structure here uh, with a Forsner bit um, that went all the way through, and then pushed the Push the dowel through that, and then mounted these couple of uh, uh, foot pedals, I guess, um, to the side, um, to the ends of those, that dowel. And then um, any other differences? I think I did a little wider than he did. Uh, here, I ended up bumping out another um, three quarter inches, so I could get to uh, 135 inches, so that the the uh, e-bike motor would fit in the slot um, so then uh, the other change I did versus his plans was actually introduce this this cross beam here um, just because uh, when I was rowing this this top would really move a lot um, with the with the torque of pulling on the on the chain 
Um, but beyond that, oh yeah, and the other difference I think that I did and he didn't do was I, uh, I use this this um, jockey pulley here. Uh, he does a little different setup. Um, I found this actually works pretty good. Uh, so I picked up, this is just a regular bicycle jockey pulley um, with a little bearing in there. So rolls really smooth. Um, I just ran a, a longer bolt through that and just uh, put a couple of uh, lock washers on there to keep it from getting unscrewed and then uh, just pull through there. Um, and then I've got these, let's see, the the way I mounted up here, I just did a couple of uh, these these flat plates and just uh, cut out the end so that the um, this e-bike motor shaft would fit in there. It's got a couple flat sides on it, so basically measured those flat sides and then um, cut that slot so the so the motor would fit in there uh, on both sides. Um, but really, that's all I did different than his plan. Um, and uh, I think it turned out really well. Actually, it wasn't that hard of a project. Um, yeah, obviously the other other deviation I did was uh, instead of a uh, just a regular bicycle wheel tire or um, bicycle rim uh, with uh, some fins in it for resistance, I <laughs> used an e-bike motor. So I got a 48 volt um, rear hub e-bike motor. Um, I didn't. Uh, I didn't use this this uh, regular gear set that was in there. There's a seven speed that came with this thing. Uh, I ended up ended up switching to a uh, single speed uh, BMX uh, freewheel. Uh, it was it'd be a little crowded in there to do that seven speed, but yeah, it still it would still work. Um, but I wanted to be able to keep that chain line, you know, nice and even all the way through there. Um, so that's why I just stayed with, stuck with the single speed one. Um, and this Shimano one is actually really quiet. I had tried another brand one. Um, it was really loud. So I ended up switching to this Shimano and it's, it's actually pretty quiet. Um, and then, uh, you know, connected with uh, these Night Eyes connectors, they fit right through the chain, just fine and dandy. Um, this chain is a super cheap one from Walmart. Um, I should have gone with a, probably a little more uh, expensive one, like uh, KMX or something, like or KMC um, chain. Uh, the jockey pulley is getting beat up by the way this chain is designed, um, but uh, yeah, it's all right. It doesn't have the normal like cylinders that you see on the other chain. So this was like a <laughs> two dollar and fifty cent chain at at Walmart. I got two of them for five bucks, which is really cheap. I probably should have spent the extra few dollars and got a got a better chain, but um, anyway, it works. Um, and then the you know the um, return um, is just done by that exercise band that's there. I used a 10-pound exercise band. Uh, same idea here, connected with a um, night eyes connector to the end of the uh, end of the band, um, and then just went up into this. Uh, pulley in the back or this this wall mount uh, pulley um, and that's really all there is to it um, pretty straightforward uh, it's pretty fun to build it actually gives me a good uh, full body workout versus my exercise bikes that I that I built pedal generator, pedal generator exercise bikes so this gives me some alternative um, so this is my uh, COVID-19 project <laughs> Hope you like it. Take care. This has been a fun project. If you want to build one yourself, follow the links below or go to my blog to find the parts list and what you need to actually build it yourself. Thanks so much. Take care.